more about bribes. Now, Laurel Heifetz likes to bribe off her children as well as a form of silencing and control. But also, Betsy Stafford Popkeys has done so many bribes with Caroline. It's almost unbelievable that Caroline has become her complete slave. Like I said, she had her drugged when she started calling her mother out against the divorce. She was almost immediately sent to the psychologist and put on antidepressants for over two years. Caroline couldn't even talk for two years. She lost her virginity. And all Betsy Stafford Poppy can say, oh no, I didn't. Okay. Now, you've got your daughter in a state of mortal sin constantly. You've sent her to this school in Eugene, Oregon, which is one of the most liberal state colleges. You say you're Catholic. She's coming back more of a whore and a slut every day. She laughs at it. She's got this other girl, Meredith, who's sleeping around in her house. She laughs about that. And she's dragging people down to hell. And the clergy are the first to jump in line. Father Mucin, Deacon Espinosa, which deacons really shouldn't be married. She's got Monsignor Brennan wrapped around her finger like you wouldn't believe. All because she's waltzing around with these lies playing piano. She's got this guitar play around her finger. And that's what the, the clergy are about now is having fun. So you've got this 1960s generation of people having fun, stomping on the mass in the church, offending Christ infinitely, taking all the sacrilegious communions. And then you've got the poor tiny people in the corner that just want to go to mass, just want to be with God, sorry for their sins, and want to become better people thrown in this anarchy of complete chaos. When is our Lord going to come back and purify the church? He will come and he will purify it. But like I said, we have a tiny set time before. There will be an illumination of conscience where everyone will see their sins. What they've been doing wrong. They could be sins of commission and sins of omission. What we aren't doing is what we may be judged by more so than what we are doing. So keep that in mind, and like I said, Asher, you call that Michael Mangan, and you get on board with the late order of St. Michael and Mike, St. Michael's World Apostolate right now today, and you find out what you need to do, and I could care less how many relatives want to squash it or laugh at it. I really could care less. It's just too bad for them, because I am your mother, and I told you what you need to do to go to heaven, and this is the path. I do not know if I will be able to access any sort of communication, direct communication line with you because of the corruption of the relatives in the clergy, which make it virtually impossible. But what I can tell you is this, your mother is with you. I am physically and spiritually with you minute by minute, second by second, but more so is your blessed mother, our mother perpetual help up there, and she is with you minute by minute, second by second, and she is going to be with you till the end of time. So you call and write to St. Michael's Word Postulate, and that is just even better than contacting me. <laughs> it's a thousand million zillion times better than ever contacting me. And get online with your blessed mother and St. Michael and all the saints. Once you have the saints by your side, nothing can stop you, Asher. And you will find yourself in such a better place, getting away from the people that really don't love you, but they just say they do. Getting right with God, confessing your sins, and get, yeah, just being a good, loyal Catholic. May God bless you.